Hi, in today's video, I will show you how to calculate the equivalent load factor or scale factor for the dynamic earthquake analysis. First, we'll go to define load patterns. For the EQX, we'll see modify lateral load and you can see that I have calculated the time period for the model for X direction. And similarly, under the EQY, you can see that I have calculated the time period for the Y direction. Now, before we begin with the analysis, we need to define the spectrum case. Under the define, we'll go to load cases. We'll add a new case. We'll name the case spec X, which is for X direction. For the load case type, we'll select response spectrum. We'll add a case. We'll select the function, function one, which has been defined as per IS 18932016 for zone four. We'll add a new case for Y direction. We'll name the case as spec Y. We'll select the load case response spectrum. We'll add a case. We'll change the load name and we'll define the function. Press OK. Now go to analyze, set load cases to run and make sure that all of the cases are set to run. Press run now. Now once the analysis is complete, go to display, show tables. Now under the analysis results, go to structure output and select base reactions. For the load patterns, clear all. For the load cases, select EQX, EQY, spec X and spec Y. And for the combinations, clear all. Press OK. Now on your screen, you can see the values for EQX, EQY, spec X and spec Y as minus 439.87 ton in X direction, minus 439.87 ton in Y direction for EQY, 84.27 ton in X direction for spec X, and 85.97 ton for Y direction in spec Y. Now to calculate the load factor, we'll simply divide EQX by spec X and EQY by spec Y to get the values. You can see the values on the screen. We'll press done. We'll go to define load cases. We'll go to spec X, modify show case, and we'll multiply the scale factor with the value we have received for the respective cases. Similarly, we'll go to spec Y, modify show case, and we'll multiply it with the scale factor. We'll press OK and we'll run the model again. Now once the analysis is complete, we'll again go to display, show tables, and you can see that ETABS remembers our last choice. We'll deselect the load pattern and we'll press OK. Now you can see on the screens the forces you are experiencing for EQX, EQY, SPEC X, and SPEC Y are equivalent now. Thank you. 